Hello, I'm Scott with Sean's Photography, and today we're going to go over the new Cheetah Stand CL360X. As you know, the new 360X is TTTTL compared to the old version, which was completely manual. Another new feature that was changed on the 360 is now that there's a locking pin for your modifiers. So when we loosen up this piece here, now we have to spin it and then pull it out. And then if we want to put it back in, we have to put it back in. And we don't have to spin it, but I like spinning it because then this way that it secures the modifier from sliding out the front. And this, of course, aids in keeping it from spinning. Okay, so give me a few seconds and we're going to dive right into this unit. All right, let's dive into the 360. Here's our on and off button, so we'll just press that and turn it on. Right now, the screen we are in is the auto flash screen. Here we have our mode button. This is going to change us from, right now we're in ETTL. We're going to go into manual, and we're going to go into stroboscopic, and it's going to take us back to the TTTL screen. This here button is for our autofocus and manual focus. So we can just change this and it's actually going to change this little icon right over here. This is our flash exposure compensation button. So we can adjust our flash exposure compensation. This is our flash exposure bracketing button. So this is going to change us to how many times we set up our flash exposure bracketing. And this over here is our sync button. This is basically for high speed sync and second curtain sync. All right. We just went out of TTTL and now we're in the manual mode. As you can see, these little uh, menus that are crossed here changed. So now we have again this button here. We can change our power. Of course, we don't need to hit that one at all. We can just adjust it like this. We can go over here to slave one which is for flash, slave two, for anything that has a pre-flash. We have high speed sync, and we have second curtain sync. That's pretty much it for the manual. We'll switch over and we'll go into stroboscopic, which is multiple. All right, now we're in multiple. Here is where we're gonna select our power setting. Here we're going to check um, our frequency. And this is where we're going to select our Hertz. So these little menu buttons up here change and so you can use these functions down here. Kind of like on a cell phone. So basically that's how that works. Alright, now we're going to dive into the custom functions here in a second. So stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna take this first button right here at the top. This is gonna take us into custom functions. We're just gonna hold it down. All right, so let's go all the way to the top. This first one is auto power off. So if you want it to shut off automatically, you can have it to on. I'm going to turn mine to off. All right. So let's go down to the next one. The next one is your flash exposure auto and cancel. So basically, we can just sit here and we can leave this one on. Or we can turn it off. The next one we're going to go into is the flash exposure order. So basically, right now it's going from zero to minus to plus. I don't like that. So I'm going to actually switch mine to have the zero. So it's going to go from negative to zero to plus. Auto focus on. So we're going to leave that to on. The beep is over here shut off. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to go down to my light. I'm going to turn that one over to on. 
because I want this. I'm just gonna leave that on all the time. It don't steal enough power from the battery to to worry about anything. If it was AA batteries on this unit, I would worry about it, but it's not. Here's our LCD display. It's set to five. I like to set mine to nine, so I'm gonna put it on nine. And we're just gonna hit OK. And then we're just gonna go back. So now all my settings are set into my custom functions. We're gonna come back and we're gonna go over a few more things. As you can see, we're in ETTL. Let's change our uh, wireless select button. Now we are in master. You can see our little menu system changed down here. We already went through the flash exposure compensation, the flash bracketing. So we're gonna hit the menu button that changed over here on the end. Now we're gonna adjust our ratios. We can set up A and B. We can set A and B and C. Or we can go back to just master. Let's hit our menu button again. Now we're in menu three. Now this is where we adjust our sync it's for high speed sync and our channels. So we're going to adjust our channel from one to 32. So let's just exit out of there. And now it just takes us right back to menu one. All right, now we're in manual. And again, all these chains down here are, are the same, but we're going to change it. We're going to go into manual master. So now these change again. We can go into our ratios. So we have A, B, and C. We have all. We just have A, B. And here we are in A, B, and C. Here we can select our groups, and we can adjust our power settings from there. We go into our menu. This is where we go into our sync for high speed sync. And this is where we set our channels. Go into menu three. Or back to menu one, sorry. And that's it of that one. All right, now we're in optical, uh, multiple. Here we have our hertz that we can change, how many times it flashes. We hit our menu button. This will take us into our groups and we can change our the power settings from there. And also, we can, of course, we can go to ratio where it's all A, B, C. Go into menu three, and we can change our channels. Okay, that's pretty much of the multiple stroboscopic. All right, let's go into our wireless select button. Here we are in ETTL, auto flash. Now we're in optical, master. Now we are in uh, optical uh, slave. Now we, here we are in radio, master. And here we are in radio slave. Those are the actual settings that you're gonna go through. So if I go into manual, here we are in manual. Here we are in manual master. Here we are in manual slave. And here we are back into ETTL. Here's something nice that if um, you had a Canon, a Nikon one of these, and a Sony one of these all together and on this one strobe, same channel and same group, when the first person fires, say it was a cannon, it'll fire. And then the can next person fires as a can or an icon, it'll say an icon across there, it'll flash. You can share this flash with your Nikon, Canon, and Sony when Sony comes out. So if I was shooting in manual mode, I can just trade off shots all day long. It doesn't make a difference. Nikon, Canon, Sony, it all will just trade off shots all day long. When you go into the ETTL mode, you're going to lose a shot between 
the Canon, the Nikon, and the Sony. Because it has to take a pre-flash before it fires. So if the last one it shot was a Nikon. For the Canon to get the right exposure, it has to shoot a pre-flash. And so you lose a shot in between the Canon and the Nikon uh, sharing ETTTL. But again, if you're in manual, you can shoot simultaneously all day long just bam 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 and each at different power settings so if i had the canon and it was set to 130 or 132 it'll shoot off at 132. the nikon say it's at half power it'll shoot off at half power you just got to remember it the flash can only keep up with a certain amount of recycling time so it just can't be fire 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 if one is shooting full power and one is shooting 32 power because it has to take time to recycle from the full power shot to the 32. Um, so that's basically it of the new 360. My name is Scott with Sean's Photography, and thank you for watching.